I make art because it's part of my life. It's part of what I am. It's part of my makeup, and that's being a uh, being an artist as well as a, a father and a husband and a business person and all of the other hats that I wear. My family has an amazing effect on my artwork, both from an inspiration angle and a, and a support angle. I think coming from such a strong family to begin with, that's just always been an important part. They'll walk up and look at the work, interpret it in their own way, and say how beautiful it is, and I'll go back to the shop and bust out another piece. Sometimes they'll bring a piece home, and I'll think it's finished, you know? I'm like, well, it looks awesome, Dad. You know, and it'll be like, oh, I'm not, I'm not gonna, well, I'm gonna do this and this, and it's like, eh, you could leave it, you know? But then he brings it back, and it's even more amazing. So no matter what he sets his mind to, whether it's an artistic endeavor, whether it's his um, job, whether it's um, trying to do the best for nature, whatever he does, he puts his mind to it, he goes full force. I have a deep respect for nature. It's part of my makeup. Everything from the mountains to the rivers to the Mississippi bluffs. He's very much in tune with nature. He sees it. He appreciates it. He's aware of, of nature, of water, of rock. Rocks. You don't know how many trips I've taken with Dad to recover large rocks. I like the interplay of rock and steel very much. All elements of nature, he just uh, draws inspiration from that. And I think that it's uh, a real important force in his life, and that's reflected in his art. It's hard to be around Gene and not fall in love with art. It's hard to talk to Gene for any length of time and not be talking about art. Uh, and I don't necessarily mean the art of a painting or the art of a piece of pottery or, or the art of even a piece of iron, but just the art of life. And, uh, and he's really passionate about that. It's uh, recognizing and nurturing and, and, and fulfilling that artistic role is something about which I don't think I have a lot of choice. I really need to follow this path. I think Gene is a lot more passionate about his art than a lot of artists. He doesn't just go for the, the minimum. He really strives to something a little bit more. I think he started uh, tinkering, if you would, and then suddenly realized that this was, that part of him was coming out in these pieces. We actually started creating art as we called it, together. And we started making trophies. We'd make a dozen pieces and give them away. We'd sit down and bust out 13 trophies of Telemark skiers coming down the hill, and uh, bicycle trophies that had uh, enormous mountains in them. And each time we brought these trophies to an event and started giving them away, people would like stand back and go, wow, that's a piece of art. How can you do that? And we'd go, ah, you make art and you give it away. We began to put fewer and fewer words in the trophies. Then one year we just put no words on it and said, we don't need any words in our trophies. And that was the year we decided it was art. Initially he saw himself more as a, as a craftsman and was working with a torch and working with iron and, and working with hammers and working with sanders and buffers. Uh, but now I think he sees himself more as an artist, more of a creator of fine art. I recognized how the value of that piece it took my time, it took my effort, it took my money, and I finally figured out that I was not being very courageous and I needed to step out and start saying, this is what I want to say. An artist, he, he puts his life, his soul out there to, for people to look at. And some people are afraid of that. 
that is a courageous step for any artist. It's, it's really kind of, I think, an ideal medium for him because I think it reflects his personality to some extent. I, I, I guess I can't see Gene working with canvas, working with ceramic. I think iron and, and steel and metal and stone are really the... Uh, uh, I, th I think he really pours himself into it and it really is part of him. I think he likes the challenge of thick steel and bending it or cutting it. Cutting and bending has been most of my, uh, my emphasis. And we started uh, cutting metal with a cutting torch, and then he got a welder and a plasma torch, which took his work to a whole other level. I use a plasma torch, which spits out a nasty little one-inch flame of electricity. 90 pounds of air blows out the molten slag, and just blows it all over the studio. It's a pretty powerful process. When you're doing something of that power, you really have to bring your full consciousness to it. And it becomes a meditation of sorts. As there's sparks flying all over, you can't be thinking about how you're gonna pay the electric bill or whatever. You have to have your mind directly on your pursuit. I think the thing that sets him apart is that uh, he works with big metal and does it by hand. If it was too easy, you know, clay or something is too quick, too easy. With the steel, yeah, he's really got to work it. He's got to polish it. He's got to buff it. Something I spend entirely too much time with is a, a grinder in my hand with a four and a half inch angle grinder with a variety of discs. The grinder is my, my sculpting tool. The grinder is my, it's my paintbrush as I put burnishes into metal and, and bring out its, 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 its uh, vibrance and its energy and its it's motion. Being an artist isn't something that is in a pigeonhole somewhere. It's an all-encompassing aspect of one's humanity, and it, you take it wherever you go. I don't think Gene sees it as a way to make money. I think he sees it as a way to express himself. And I think that's what I really like about him as an artist is that he's not he's more than just more than just creative he's also passionate about art just absolutely passionate For him art isn't limited to metal it's it's the way he lives his life and it's the way he always has If I had no studio no tools I would be making sandcastles somewhere. If I didn't have sand, I'd be stacking leaves or, or twigs in an artistic manner some other place. Everywhere I go, you know, it's like, what's your name? Priyana Tully. What's your dad, Gene? I, l I love this show. Somehow he's just always had the power to like get people really excited about things. When I first came here 18 years ago, um, I tried to get things going. Gene was able to uh, find out where things were really happening at. The arts in Dubuque are now more viable than they ever have. Knowing art isn't in a museum where it's quiet and, and you have to whisper, but rather in a forum where you can laugh and dance. He's been the, the focal point. He's been the, the leader. Genius is uh, kind of a magnet for um, interesting, pressing-edge artists. 
there has been some major steps forward in a positive way for the, the visual artists. The renaissance I think that's going on here is some of the new spirit that people like Gene bring in. I think the arts are great in Dubuque and I think they're only going to get greater. His presence, I think, changes everybody's life because he is so big and such a good influence and a challenging person and always challenges everybody to be the best person they can be. Art is something that everybody has. It's just a matter of exploring it. We all have need to, uh, to express ourselves. We all have something we need to say. I think we all have to uh, seize the opportunity to express ourselves and to be individuals and to share that individuality with the next individual. It's incumbent upon each of us to do what we can so we can't get enough art in this world. Thank you.